three decades, they have been so much more than just a dance company here in the community. Here representing the Champaign-Urbana Ballet are Lauren Frost, and Oscar Lewis. We're happy to have both of you. Thank Welcome. You for us. Good to be here. Thank you. Okay, so the CU Ballet, such a rich history, and it's just tradition mm -hmm. this time of year for people to experience what you all have been hard at work. Mm -hmm. So we're talking the Nutcracker. Right. So tell me a little bit about your role, Lauren. Uh, so for this year, I'm just Miss Stahlbaum. That's Clara's mom during the party. And then I am the Dutch Dairy Queen. So I am basically the big barn where all of the cows come out and dance <laughs> for Clara, and it's a lot of fun. And it's the first time I've ever done this role. I've never done this role before, so I'm super excited. But I'm taking a step back this year and kind of doing more acting than I am dancing, so I'm excited. What made you decide to take that step back? Well, I went away for college for a couple years, and then I came back and I started my career at the sheriff's office here in Chimbang County. And then once I realized I kind of had my time management down to where I could come back, I was like, you know what? Am I off time? I want to go back home. I want to go back to CU Ballet. And I want to perform for them and be on stage and have fun with them. So, What do your coworkers at the sheriff's office uh, think about having a ballerina yeah. on staff? I don't know. That's a good <laughs> question. Because I think they're excited. Some of them are coming to the show, right? They've never As seen they ballet. Should. Yeah, no, some of them have never seen a ballet performance before. So I'm excited to see them experience the first ballet show, you know? And I don't know. I mean, it's interesting being the only ballet dancer at the sheriff's office, right? <laughs> you can't, I mean, I don't think there's going to be another one for a no, while. No, so, probably but yeah, not. I try but to rope them in. I'm maybe like, until dance. Oscar comes along. Right. Uh, no? Yeah, maybe. Yes. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your background, Oscar. So I've been dancing at Sioux Ballet for 15 years. I took a little break during COVID, um, but I've been here a while. It's been tons of fun throughout all the years. I'm doing a couple of roles this year in the Nutcracker. I'm a party dad, but just your regular party dad, so no fancy <laughs> yeah. stuff, of course, but um, I'm Rat. I love Rat. I've always loved Rat. That's a very fun role. No ballet. It's more just like jumpy and creepy crawly sort of things, <laughs> but that's a very fun role in my opinion. What um, do you hope people take away from your performance and from the Nutcracker when they come to see it? I hope they take away with inspiration and maybe a different view of ballet. There's maybe some stereotypes that it's very professional and very classic, at least for boys, very much, you know, hoping that they appreciate the athleticism and physicality behind it. It's very important. It's a very big part of what the reason why I do it. Very good. Okay, and so you're the rat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sounds very interesting. My favorite role. Okay, let's take a little look here at um, so, some of the hard work and behind the scenes of the Nutcracker and what people will get a little flavor of um, when they go and check it out. Okay, that looks like it's going to be a great show there at the Cranert Center um, for the Performing Arts. But I think you kind of understated your role there, Oscar. You uh, looked like you were um, a pretty big yeah, time. I mean, there's a lot of roles in the Nutcracker. There's a lot of roles that I've done. The one I'm looking most forward to this year is the Cavalier, who's kind of the, the main guy, as opposed to the Sugar Plum, who's our main girl. So getting to dance with my partner, you know, getting this amazing new role, being the the top dog on stage is really quite a lot of fun. Well, congratulations. I mean, that has Thank to be you. exciting for Very you and exciting. everyone who's coming to watch you. Which is when? When is this classic coming to town? So it's November 30th all the way to December 3rd. So that Thursday to Saturday, it's a great weekend for family to come out. They can get tickets at... Um, at our website. At our website, yep. yep. There you go, cuballet.com. <laughs> yes, yes. Because they'll come to our website, and of course, we will link that yep. up. Um, what's your favorite part of this year's performance? Gosh, I don't know. 
I don't know. All of it? All of it. It's hard to say. <laughs> I would have to say my favorite part are just the costumes in general. Yes. Because they are beautiful. Yeah, all handmade. Yeah. All handmade. Okay. Yep. Well, we wish you the best of luck. It's such a great tradition for families here in the community to come and see the Nutcracker. And... Um, Thank you for coming. Of Thank you for having us. It's going to be a great time. And if you want more information on tickets and showtimes, there's all the opportunities you have to go catch the Nutcracker. And we, of course, will link up at CILiving.tv after today's show.